hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be creating this beautiful romantic date night makeup look that you can wear not only on valentine's day but you can wear this pretty much whenever you are going out on a date so let's get started and first i'm using a moisturizer to hydrate and moisturize my skin and then i will move on to the primer then for primer, I'm using this Maybelline Master Prime Primer and I'm using it mostly on my T-zone area so that I don't get oily throughout the day. Next, I'm moving on to the concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes and on my mouth and I have a lot of acne scars on my face. So this one is a full coverage one and if you have hypopigmentation, acne scars, then I would suggest you to go on with a full coverage concealer. And then I'm using my beauty blender to blend everything out. Okay, now let's move on to the foundation and as you are going on a date, you want your skin to look very dewy and juicy. So I'm using a liquid illuminator and I'm mixing it with my foundation and then I'm gonna apply it all over my skin and blend it with my beauty sponge. And then to set the cream products on place, I'm using this K-Beauty loose powder in the shade Banana and I'm just slightly dusting it all over my skin. I don't want to bake my face because baking just makes your skin look very dry. And I'm mostly concentrating on my T-zone area and guys this powder gives a very nice airbrushed kind of look that I really like. And next I'm using this K-Beauty Matte Compact to set the rest of my face. Now guys, this is the first time I'm using it in front of the camera. So this compact has a little bit of coverage and it sets your makeup really nicely. So if you are looking for a good compact powder for everyday use, you can try this one out. Moving on to my brows and I'm using this uh, brow pencil to fill in the gaps and then I will use a brow gel to set my brows on place and that's it. It's very quick and very easy. Okay, so the next step is completely optional, but I wanted to try this Maybelline Fit Me 12 hour oil control compact and I recently got it and I wanted to try this in front of the camera because when I got it, I just felt like it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. And I also wanted to see that it can control my oils for 12 hour or not. Okay, now let's move on to the eyes and today I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Truffles. Now these eyeshadows are extremely pigmented, super blendable and they are very long wearing. They have a little bit of kickback and I don't mind because they are superbly blendable and I am really liking these eyeshadow palettes lately. I try to keep this eye look as simple as possible so no matter what you are a beginner or if you are a pro you can totally create this eye look very easily. So first I'm using a shadow all over my crease and I'm mostly focusing on blending the product properly so that it looks very nice and seamless and then I'm using this shimmery silvery shadow all over my eyelid And 
and once i'm happy with the pigmentation i will move on to the swiss beauty metallic liquid eyeshadow and i'm gonna be applying this on top of the silvery gray eyeshadow that i have applied all over my lid and then with the help of an eyeshadow brush i'm just spreading the product evenly then i'm taking the same transition shade and i'm blending on that area where the liquid eyeshadow and my crease shade met and that's how this is gonna look very nice and seamless and blended and there will be no harsh lines next i'm going on with this brown eyeshadow and i'm mostly concentrating on the outer portion of my eyes and this is how it's gonna give a little bit of depth and dimension to my eyes then whatever was left in that brush i'm just applying it on the outer portion of my bottom lash line and smoking it out so that it doesn't look flat and it looks like it has a little bit of something and then i'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara on my top lashes and not on my bottom lashes and that's how it looks very nice and clean Then moving on to the blush and today I got this new color bar chic illusion blush in the shade rosy peach such a beautiful beautiful blush and this is gonna suit a lot of Indian skin tones color bar products are really really nice and currently I am in love with their blushes so yeah. And then to contour my face, I'm using this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer and I'm using it very lightly and I don't want to go overboard with it because I want my look to be very nice and fresh but I want a little bit of dimension as well. And this bronzer is really nice and smooth on the skin. It feels really soft and buttery when you touch it and it doesn't look patchy or blotchy and you cannot really go overboard with it because it blends so beautifully on the skin so really like it. Now it's time to highlight my face and I'm using my favorite K-Beauty illuminating highlighter in the shade Sunlit Gold. You guys know this is my absolutely favorite, really pigmented, very blinding, love this. Then to lock everything in, I'm using this Maybelline Lasting Fix so that my makeup doesn't move throughout the day. Moving on to the lipsticks and today I'm gonna be mixing two of my favorite lip shades and the first one is Pink Peach from the Forever Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I recently got this shade and this shade is so beautiful, so apt for Valentine's Day makeup look. And next I'm using this Absolute Matte Melt Liquid Lipstick and I really like these formulas you guys. If you are looking for a good liquid lipstick, you can just invest in these and you won't regret it. And then I added a little more blush and also I was feeling like I have something missing. So I'm gonna take this Kiro High Definition Soothing Eyeliner in the shade Earth Brown. This is such a beautiful brown shade and I'm just applying it on my upper lash line very lightly. And then I'm gonna take a small detailing blush and I'm gonna smudge it out very lightly so that it looks like I have a liner on but it doesn't look too stark or too harsh. So yeah, that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.